So I'm going to harp on it again about the not handling these folds initially until they give consent. So it's not about I don't handle the folds at all. I don't handle them until, oh hello Rupert. I don't handle them until they're completely comfortable around me. Which means when you first touch them, like Rupert's first touching, first time I ever touched him and rubbed my hands all over him, he was totally relaxed with it. So there's been no fear around humans. And I, I tell you what, I can't show you my phone because it's getting video with. I was going to say there was a guy that messaged me a while ago and he said he's working with this Mustang and he says, I don't know if he'll get to the place of chance and Rupert where there is the absence of mistrust. I thought that was the greatest thing I've ever heard. I don't know if I will ever get to where there's an absence of mistrust. And with Rupert here, that's, and Chance, that's why things seem to be really simple because there's an absence of mistrust. And if you handle them a lot when they're a foal and, and stop them from struggling and do all that sort of stuff, I think there remains a level of mistrust in there. So Rupert, um, yesterday the vet had a look at him and he's got these summer sort of like fly bites under his belly and he's kind of got a bit of edema down there. So she wants me to give him some gut. Rupert's never had anything, any syringe put in his mouth, okay? Uh, he's never had any butte before. And I've never really stuck my fingers in his mouth. So we're gonna do this for the first time right now. So Rupi, let me have a look in here. Don't put my fingers in there, like that. Oh, there you go. Very, very good. Okay, so now I'm gonna take my trusty butte syringe here, place it in his mouth towards the back, squeeze the stuff out like that, wipe it off on his tongue, and there you go. Rupert, uh, Rupert gets his first gram of butte ever. We've never practiced it, never had to practice. I just loaded one on a trailer for the first time, never done it before, never practiced it. He loaded straight on. So I, I, I really can't say enough about, <laughs> Rupert's gonna say it with the camera, I really can't say enough about how it's going with this process I'm doing right now and it's and it's you know it's difficult for a lot of people to imagine because they think you kind of got to dominate horses a little bit or whatever to um, get along with them but I think when you make it I posted a thing on Facebook last night that said I, I want it to be more of a conversation than a monologue and I think when you turn it into a conversation I thought Rupert's gonna have a roll here I think excuse me I think when you turn it into a conversation um, things are work out completely probably see now why I'm harping on about this hands-off approach at the start because I wonder if you want to use that fella's quote again there's a complete absence of mistrust and I think doing all those other techniques you end up with a little bit of mistrust and this is this is uh, completely different than that